Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 3rd, 2020. Hey guys, I apologize. This video is going to be late today. I had a, I had completely recorded the morning video, and then I had a software failure, and um, it failed to. Um, failed to, well, it crashed is what it did. And um, I lost the entire recording. So um, I apologize, this video is going to be a little bit later than normal, but I'm gonna get it out anyway. So let's take a look at what's going on in the market today and let's um, kind of settle in and prepare for the second recording of the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So yesterday we had a gap up open and then we just kind of stalled and went sideways. If we take a look at a 15 minute chart, you can see here, here's yesterday's move. We gapped up yesterday morning and then pulled all the way back, nearly filled the gap. And then we just kind of wound around in here. Didn't do anything until the last few minutes of the day. We had that big surge to push us back through that high. And it was just the last few minutes of the day. We saw huge volume come in right at the end of the day um, yesterday, pushing that market up. So this morning we're looking at another bullish gap this morning and um, we're seeing um, trends continue to extend it just it seems like every day we're just inspiring the market higher with morning gaps institutional pushes that continue to um, draw as many people into the market as possible and even though we are rather extended we've got to give this up to the bulls they are absolutely in control now taking a look this morning we are gapping up this morning um, big strong gap up and we're pushing up into resistance distance levels in the chart. You can see if we move um, right up into this level right here, we have a significant uh, level of resistance right in there to deal with. And the bottom side of that is pretty close to where we are right now. We've got a lot of congestion in this area, but they are definitely in control and they are pushing higher with a big opening gap. Right now looking at 200 points um, in the Dow futures uh, trying to gap up. So looking very, very strong. We'll want to watch that as we move up here into these resistance levels, but for now, bulls are definitely in control. Technically speaking, if we take a look here, let me remove these lines. You can see we're pushing up toward that 200 day moving average, and it looks like there just is nothing that the bulls won't do to get us up there. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also very strong, pushing through its 200 day moving average, and we're pushing into this lower high on our failure over here. We're pushing into that level of resistance right in here as we move up. So let's keep an eye on that as we continue to drive forward um, despite any bad economic numbers. In fact, bad ec economic numbers seem to only inspire the bulls to push harder. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ also moving up and we are so close. We are within a breath of reaching all-time record highs in the NASDAQ and I think it would be pretty disappointing at this point. In fact, kind of a surprise that they won't pull anything out of the hat to reach up there and get, and get that new um, headline of that new record high in the NASDAQ. Um, incredibly strong move here in um, the QQQ and honestly a very rare sight to see in a market, a true V bottom. Um, showing up in the queues. Now, what you do want to remember is to be careful as we push up in here into that resistance level that high, we could pop on through there and then actually see some profit takers come in. So kind of keep that in mind as we continue this relentless push to the upside. And then IWM, IWM also pushing up, bulls definitely in control there. Trends are continuing to stay up and there's nothing in the chart to suggest bearishness at this moment and we're continuing to push higher toward that 200 day moving average in IWM. So with that, let's take a look at the VIX. VIX has been really kind of interesting um, as it continues to consolidate um, across this area. Notice that the last several days 
we even though we're being we're gapping higher and trying to move higher there hasn't been a real diminishment in the vix that that fear level but perhaps today with this um, big gap up this morning we will finally see a break of this little support area in price and maybe push down here toward that 200 day moving average maybe actually get us below that 25 handle here in the vix now keep in mind if i throw some lines on here we have some price support levels right in this area so let's keep an eye on that we're very very extended in this run in this market move so if we push down in here we start to see a little bit of profit taking come in we could bounce off of that level in the VIX so watch that closely let's take a look at t2122 now this is the one that gives me probably the biggest concern here this morning we have been uh, maintaining this elevated status here in the market with these morning gaps and that inspiration by institutions to to just continue to buy what we want to avoid doing is getting caught up in, in this idea that we can never fail again and right now we're pushing up here really hard we're going to come close to pegging um, T2122 up in this upper area. Now that doesn't necessarily mean sellers will immediately come in. It just means that we have to be a little bit wiser and be careful not to just chase so late in this run. We, we want to always be aware of the possibility that profit takers could come in at any time. And I want to be very clear here. I'm not bearish. I am trading bullishly in the market. I have some really nice holdings that are very very profitable right now and I'm continuing to remain on that bullish side I am hedging for a potential pullback right now but I am still very bullish in this market but keep in mind we could see those profit takers come in at any time so don't be lulled to sleep by this relentless push eventually we will see that pullback and don't get caught make sure you're taking those profits or you're watching very very closely for that opportunity to scale out of those trades just in case those sellers do happen to come in let's take a look at um our economic calendar for today um, our economic calendar has quite a little bit on it and some of this by the time you get this video a lot of these will be out now this morning we've got the ADP report we've got factory orders at 10 and we've got the ISM numbers coming out at 10 as well biggest report of the day is going to be that petroleum status that could actually be very beneficial for the market right now because OPEC continues these historic um, production cuts cuts um, um, and as the economy starts to reopen perhaps that demand for um, energy is starting to increase so energy has been holding up very very well continuing to stay strong that could be the big mover today to really help stabilize or hold the market up um, remember the ADP report is suggesting terrible numbers but what's happened lately it just doesn't matter how bad the jobs numbers are the market um, actually fuels we we get these historically bad unemployment numbers and we just find inspiration in that to move higher it's kind of like opposite day on a Seinfeld episode or something but that's what's going on right now and perhaps that will be the case today we just are ignoring any bad economic numbers in the hopes that we will recover um, much much faster than well almost seems logical but right now that's what is moving the market let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar today and we do have a few stocks um, in that earnings calendar but really nothing much to really provide a whole lot of inspiration for the market we have uh, CPB Campbell Soup is reporting earnings today and you can see they're gapping higher this morning we have reports from um, American Eagle Outfitters um, retailer looks like they're moving a little bit lower this morning um, on that report um, CNK CNK we might want to keep an eye on I doubt this is something that's really going to move the market around much and the last one I have today uh, to kind of be made aware of is GWRE um, trying to uh, we'll be reporting today huge wide bid ask spread I don't think they've reported yet today but we'll want to keep an eye on that chart 
So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys wouldn't mind do, doing me a favor, and that would be clicking that subscribe button on YouTube and then also clicking that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, if you feel the video is worthy, please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. It helps to grow the channel. Um, I do my very best to put out good quality content but the channel is driven by the subscribers and as long as you continue to support uh, the efforts here it continues to grow so thank you very much I truly truly appreciate it so with that guys how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up things that could be showing some some pretty good signs now a stock I've been keeping an eye on here is Costco looking at Costco in this chart and I'm going to remove all of our moving averages in here and just just take a look at the technicals of the chart and one of the patterns that I watch all the time is um, when a stock has been downtrending I want to see that downtrend break and then I want to see proof that we can hold it as support and so far that's what we're seeing here in Costco so I've placed an alert on this chart waiting for this to potentially move on higher Keep a close eye on that. Um, Costco might be a place to look. Intel. Intel is a stock that we should all be keeping an eye on. We had a little bearishness in it yesterday, pushing down. But if we were to draw a trend line from here straight up, we're getting very, very close to that trend. Now, it is possible the actual trend is more out here. I'm not really sure on that. But we'll want to watch that closely as we uh, continue to consolidate. Yesterday, we had a little bit of a bearish move, but at the end of the Day, we had that surge of buying pushing this back up breaking uh, back through this resistance so that's a good sign in the chart let's watch and see if we can get any inspiration in this chart over the next few days to break that on out and move up here to test these highs um, up in those areas um, energy transfer is one of those stocks that I'm keeping an eye on now this stock might be something that would be more of an investment grade type trade because this pays a huge uh, dividend yield of about 15 percent dividend yield but you can see an energy transfer holding up very very well here nice tight consolidation could be soon finding that inspiration to push on through and maybe come up here and fill that gap so keep an eye on that anything in the energy sector Halliburton Halliburton really nice pattern here pushing up um, seeing um, uh, you know like Schlumberger moving up CVX showing strength in this consolidation holding up trying to break out all over the place in the energy sector um, we're seeing those patterns of strength and stability as they're trying to push through some resistance levels so perhaps that um, that number today on the petroleum status can be just enough to push us on through and inspire uh, things higher so keep a close eye on on that one of the ways I have been trading that and I'm holding a position in XLE XLE has been moving up nicely and I, I purchased XLE to avoid any individual earnings risk and this has just been a fantastically profitable trade for me and continues to show that profit and we're pushing up higher here this morning trying to fill this gap in energy keep a close eye on that we could get an effect from that oil status report this morning so watch that closely Another place that I've been watching pretty closely is the financials. If we're going to have a sustained rally, we really need those financials to start coming along. And they have been doing that recently. Broke that little downtrend, held it as support, moved on higher. Now we're, we broke through this resistance in here, showing that bullishness in the chart. Keep an eye on financials. If they can continue to push higher, that's going to help the overall market. Another chart you might want to keep an eye on is McDonald's. McDonald's breaking that downtrend. Here's that pattern again. We break that downtrend, we push through, we hold support and we're showing this really nice tight consolidation in here all we need to find is those uh, bulls to push on through and we reestablish our uptrend um, here in the chart so keep a close eye on McDonald's and last but not least I'm going to bring up one of my favorite trading stocks uh, because it's an old boring company I love these stocks because um, they're easy to trade 
um, Coca-Cola moving up, breaking its downtrend, holding support, and you can see consolidating in a nice tight range. We want to watch for that potential of Coca-Cola popping out of here. I don't know when this actual trend, if it's the trend's going to be here, if it's going to be out here, or even further. I don't know how long we consolidate in here, but we want to watch that pretty closely for that possibility of that pushing on through and uh, rebounding. So everyone, um, a little bit shorter than normal uh, video because of the re-recording and I hope um, this video finds you all happy and healthy and um, ready to trade today. Everyone take care, have an awesome, awesome day. And please remember any of the stocks that I show in these videos are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Every trader has to have their own trading plan, their own trading style. And so please keep in mind, it's up to you as the trader to do that due diligence that you need to find out whether or not the stocks that maybe I show here um, deserve to be in a watch list or whether or not they're even any kind of a trade that you're interested in. So keep that in mind. Everyone. Have a great day, you all. I hope you're all safe and healthy and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.